superhet receiver. A superhet radio receiver starts off with the aerial, which converts the electromagnetic waves into an alternating current. And we get the tuned circuits, which um, provides um, rough frequency selection. So we get the station sidebands that we want, uh, plus some of the neighbouring ones. We put this into the mixer with the local oscillator, which is a high frequency, uh, a frequency which is a fixed frequency higher than the uh, frequency we tune the tuned circuit to. What comes out of here is called the intermediate frequency, which is the local oscillator frequency minus the radio frequency signal. So we get a copy of the radio frequency signal at a fixed frequency band. Then it goes into the intermediate frequency filter, which has got a very, very sharp cutoff. Uh, and this provides the selectivity for the, uh, for the receiver. We then go into the intermediate frequency amplifier, which provides the sensitivity. So any weak signals will get boosted. I'll try to demonstrate this with these diagrams. So it's a larger amplitude. Then goes through to the demodulator, where we get the audio frequency, which is the speech or radio that is being transmitted on the radio wave. comes out. And then we boost this signal and put this into a speaker. So looking at amplitude uh, frequency graphs for various points of this. So looking at the mixer inputs, what we put in is the radio frequency. Uh, I've represented these by having the carrier wave with the sidebands for three radio stations. So this is the one that we, we want, and we've got the two neighbouring ones here. We've also got the local oscillator frequency, which is um, 455 kilohertz, or the intermediate frequency, above where we're tuning the tuned circuit to. And then what comes out of the mixer is we get the, uh, the signals going in, come out, but also what we get is we get a copy of uh, each of these stations at the uh, local oscillator frequency minus the, uh, the signal here. So we can see that um, this frequency difference here, we get a copy of uh, the red signal at this frequency, and we get the blue at this frequency, and we get the red one at this frequency here. So we what we've got here is the local oscillator minus the radio frequency, which gives us the intermediate frequency. And we find that um, this one here, if we tuned the tune circuit into this, we find that this one appears at 455 kilohertz. And then what comes out of the intermediate frequency filter, which is here, is just uh, 455 kilohertz, whatever signal we've got there, plus or minus a very small bandwidth from that. So looking at this uh, in much more detail, what we've got here is this uh, dotted line is the uh, um, gain frequency response for the tuning circuit. So you can see it's, it's quite broad bandwidth on this, so it will pick up some of the adjacent stations. So if we tune it to this one, to the purple uh, station, we'll also pick up some of the blue and some of the red there. But 455 kilohertz above the resonant frequency, we've got the local oscillator. And um, what I've got here, the output of the mixer, uh, this is 455 kilohertz. Uh, we find in this case we get the uh, the purple station because the difference between the local oscillator and the radio frequency is 455 kilohertz in this case and then this distance here represents this distance here so this free this is going to be at a lower frequency and the blue one will be at a higher frequency than the red but lower frequency than the purple and then this is what's going to come out of the intermediate frequency filter very, very sharp cutoff, as I've represented this dotted line, so this is the gain frequency response of this. Very sharp cutoff, it's got a flat response across the whole bandwidth. And if I animate this, it's going to show what happens if we tune the radio frequency, uh, the tuning circuit. So we're going to tune that. We're going to see the local oscillator will move at a fixed frequency, a fixed distance above this. So the distance between the resonant frequency and the local oscillator is always 455 kilohertz. <coughs> we'll always get uh, the copies down here of these radio stations, so we can see that the red one appears at 455, and then eventually the blue one, um, the purple one is going to appear at 455 kilohertz. So what appears here at 455 kilohertz is uh, a copy of wherever the dotted line here is, resonant frequency. And then coming out of the intermediate frequency filter, we see that we either get one station coming out, but we get nothing. So it's a very, very selective filter. And that's the Superhet receiver.